I'm Phil Brandon. I am the founder, head distiller, recipe developer, floor sweeper, bottle washer, toilet cleaner, uh, counter wiper offer, and general maintenance man for the distillery. Well, the way this came about, um, I used to work at Altel, the wireless carrier here in Little Rock, and um, Verizon bought us, and I was, you know, obviously going to lose my job. Uh, they were going to lay off most of us, you know, so-called middle managers. <clears throat> and so I, uh, in the meantime, had been drinking a fair amount of whiskey, um, believe it or not. And I learned about craft distilling and micro distilling and that there were these other small distilleries that were popping up on the West Coast and the East Coast. But there wasn't anybody in Arkansas making whiskey or distilling. And I was like, well, why not? So I began to put together a plan, um, put together a business plan, put together, uh, you know, what I thought it would take to uh, actually start a distillery and make it run, and uh, decided that was what I wanted to do and what I wanted to pursue, and away we went. Being an entrepreneur, um, you know, you think, well, gosh, I get to be my own boss. I'm going to be playing golf every day. And, and uh, I get to go home early, and uh, it's really just the opposite. I, I don't own a distillery, the distillery owns me. You know, I, I always joke when people ask, you know, it, it's, I just work half a day, you know, it's just deciding which 12 hours I'm gonna work. And being the size that we are, and being funded the way we are, I'm not a multi-millionaire trying to start a business. You know, we, we run things very tight, and, uh, Part of that means that I'm out there making stuff, I'm out there pulling barrels, I'm tasting things, I'm cleaning, I'm um, distilling, I'm you know doing it all. Uh, sure, I've got some help, but uh, you know at the end of the day, I have to make it happen. The learning process, um, it, you know, it's a challenge, but a lot of it was really just through YouTube and, and Google um, initially. Anyway, um, like I said, I, I found craft distilling through, you know, researching just, just, you know, what is an Isla Scotch versus a Highland Scotch or a Speyside or, or what are the different types of whiskey, you know. In doing that Google search, you get 10 listings and, you know, if you scroll down deep enough, you find craft distilling and, and that's how I found it. My learning process began there um, and then went to books and then to hiring uh, expert consultants to help me. So. So I started out with vodka and gin, and the main reason for that is vodka and gin don't have to be aged. So it's a clear spirit, uh, no aging involved, so you make it, put it in the bottle, and you sell it. So it's all about cash flow. So you gotta have a product to sell when you open the doors. Can't wait, you know, years for whiskey to age to be able to uh, start a new business. The, uh, the first award that we got was the uh, double gold medal on our, our Brandon's Gin. Um, Brandon's Gin is vapor infused and uh, we use a, a, a copper pot still so it's, it's a very special way to make gin. Not everybody does it that way. And to win the double gold medal in San Francisco, which is the highest award that they could give a product, it goes from bronze, silver, gold, double gold. Double gold means that Every judge gave it a gold medal, so then they give it a double gold. And there's like 30-something judges that are judging the product. So we beat some very large international brands in that competition. And to be one of the five that got double gold that year was just an incredible, amazing thing. The vodka got second place in the world in New York at the Astor Center at the Ultimate Beverage Challenge in 2011 um, with a 93 out of 100 rating, which is another pretty amazing thing to think that a guy you know, who really learned distilling a year ago, you know, from when this was, you know, given that is now making a world-class vodka. The future for Rocktown is um, that we want to be a leading craft distillery in the United States. Um, the short-term future would be the Southeast, so we're in the process of getting our products out throughout the Southeast and then continue to launch new and different products, um, try to do some imaginative things that I've got in mind. Um, 
as well as continue to make uh, world-class whiskeys, vodkas, gins, and wines.